Thank you very much, Abby. This really could be the game of the opening day of week two. These two have been the standout performers of the day so far. Neil Duff, the reigning WDF world champion. Won three from four. Beat Keenan K in his first match before then going down 4-2 to Alexander Burks. He then came back onto the winning trail for 4-2 success against Graham Hall. Up against Jared Cole, who got the better of Merck's 4-3 in his opening tussle of the day. He was then defeated by Graham Hall by 4 legs to 2. And his last match, an absolute cracker, the 4-1 victory against Keenan K, where both players averaged in excess of 94. So if these two can play to type, we may... Have first a bit like, of a classic on our hands here, Scott Mitchell. Game on. We really could. After their last games, we are both very much looking forward to this one. One on the hand. These for two G4. recently met in the WDF British Classic. And it was Jared Cole who claimed a 4-3 victory in the last 1-2-8 about month and a half ago in Bridlington in a big event over this format. One on the down, 25. And the gloves are off already. Early doors in this one. 44. These two have also met in the Super Series in its previous incarnation. It was in Phase 100. 3, Week 4 earlier this year. Both of these games in Group A. And it was one game apiece, but both matches being won by four legs to 55. one. Neil, you so the 42. indications are off of previous metrics. This is going to be a close one. This could be a blockbuster. Yeah, that's game short that is absolutely magnificent Neil. from the Duff man. A 1-4-2 for 12 data. To win the opening leg, Second we said this could be a special first. game. Game that on. is a special start from the Duff man. And as an opponent, you know that you've got to go with 58. it. Or you're going to get steamrolled. Twenty-six. Jared got away with a bad start there. Sometimes when a player has a bad start, you then follow in thinking, here we go, here we go, and you over try just slightly. We keep hearing it all the time. If you're a dark player, One when you're up there, 14. if you start thinking, you've had it. 1 on the That's a shimmy across, and you wouldn't have seen much of that triple 20 bed. Weasels his way through there. That one last dart weasels its way through the gap, and Duff has just done the same to hit the treble 20 with his third dart. Jared Cole will be wanting to leave 160 16. minimum, but a bit of a lurch with that last one. It's allowed Duff to take control of the leg. One on the down 40. Look at the focus in the eyes of the WDF world champion. He knows this is significant, and he's playing the best darts anyone's played so far today. 113.38. He's looking to back the 12 darts are up with a potential 15. 84. Jared, you require 117. And he was too good there to leave himself on 11. He could be broken. Sorry, yeah, could be 1-1. One, one. Yeah, if Cole could take the 117, the two Jared legs played, play. two legs won. With ton plus out shots, the one four two for Duff in the first leg, followed well, by the one seventeen for Cole in the second. On, Apologies about that. I don't know what happened there, but I can tell you and guarantee you we are at level at one apiece. One on the end. It was a massive shot. It was a massive shot because I think the Duff man had thought that he had actually done enough. Fifty seven to take the leg. And then in came an imposter with no darts, and he <laughs> wanted it. And then he disappeared. Never to be seen again. 45. See, we do rehearse all this. We don't just make it up as we go along. 
Yes, do you just got a clip of our dress rehearsal there on camera 18. focusing first thing this morning? Lucky they don't get videos of us doing the dress rehearsals in the morning. No one wants to see that. Nobody wants to see us, mate. That's a very valid one point. They want to see players doing this. And another 180 from Neil Duff. Averaging 113. But back comes Cole. 40. Neil Unicorn 136. 136 to add to the ton toppers we've seen in this spectacular match. 96. But you'll take tops after 12. This is an excellent performance from the Duff man. 100. Neil, you require 40. Tots for 13. Tens. Thirty. But Jared has Jared's a chance. 124. He won the second leg of a 117. He could still break in the third with a 124 if he can get the bullseye. And he wasn't too far away. 10. And so Duff returns for double five for 2 1. Yeah, that's game short in the third leg. Neil Duff. And a very positive double five there. You know, you can get a bit niggly and try and throw high Four there. Is Jared he was first. absolutely Game full on. bore on the bean, straight at the double. And then it went. But let's not forget that was only to hold throw. 85. 100. I don't think I've got enough fingers to count the number of times the first dart in a Neil Duff visit in this match has found the trouble 20. 97. Prolific is the word we are looking for. Prolific. 100. Super califragilistic. There's no more words to describe this performance from Neil Duff. Prolific perfection. 85. 85. So Jared really needs a ton and a bit here on this visit. 64. Neil, you require 136. Clever, clever work from Jared Cole there. 96. Jared the way this game has gone, you almost expect the fish to go. 43. So top to a break and a 3 1 lead, averaging 106 and a half. Yeah, and you just have to dart. marvel at the brilliance of Neil Duff. A 13 dart leg, a 3 1 lead, an average just underneath 107. And the world first. champion in the Game WDF on. system is going through the gears. He is proving why he picked up that lakeside title in April. Because when the big game 41. has arose, he has produced his best stuff, or he's producing his best stuff. Jared Cole, the king of the castle, has a mountain to climb from here. 100. It's definitely the Duff doing his stuff right here at the Modus Super Series. 95. And this is also huge psychologically because these are the pair's last fixtures today, but will be the first game they play tomorrow. 140. Whoever could win both of these fixtures could put clear daylight against each other. 125. 94. Jared, you require 100. Back in there, and you could see what he was trying to do with that last dart, leaving it so he only had to hit one treble. Get a, go, a double on his next 55. visit, but he missed the ball. Neil, you require 131. That would have been to have sealed a spectacular performance in some style, but he is going to leave it incredibly handy. He's going to leave himself tops after 15, and this 96 for Jared Cole is going to have to go. He's got two at double 18. Yeah, or he needs the, the one flag. and gets Jared a break Cole. back to bring it back to within 3-2. He has the darts in the sixth. 
to send us all the way Six to a seventh and the deciding first. leg. And for the first time in a meeting here at the Super Series, it will not end 4-1 in one direction. It could end like their meeting 100. in the British Classic in September, and that going all the way to a seventh and deciding leg. One on the Not if Neil Dusk got anything to say about it. Terrific start to the leg from Duff. 95. Almost matched by Cole. Slight lateral drift to the left. See him score 95 instead of 140. But the Duff man is now on back 14. asserting himself on the leg with a back-to-back -back 140s. Needs two trebles here. Doesn't get it. Advantage Duff. He's got six for the match. And you get the sense the way he's playing. That may well be all he needs. Fifty-seven. A door left ajar for Cole if he can manage to hit a treble. Fifty-eight. But again, he goes trebleless. Sixty-four. Eighty-two. Half the score. Cole can only apply pressure. Duff should get a dart. Ninety-six. Neil, you require eighty-two. To seal a fabulous win. He's going to get. A dart at tops, but it drags just underneath. And so to save the game, Jared Cole needs 108. 44. And so double 10. You require 20. And Neil Duff to seal a 4 2 victory. 10. But it doesn't go. Cole has a chance to send us a distance. We can take out this 64. Territory requires 64. Goes back, steadies himself, takes a mouthful of water, has a little talk to himself. 50. He will get one dart at double eight. Yeah, that's game show. And he the hits it. Jared Cole. Why just hit the one double when you're capable of hitting the two? A wry smile from Neil Duff there. He knows this Neil game should be done and dusted. And he's now got to do all the hard work again. And in this cauldron-like environment, it's good to see One that kind of 40. sporting ship as we head into the deciding leg, which Duff kicks off 140. 100. My word, was that a precarious first dart. And Duff straight back in there. One on the end, 40. Really prolific. That's two 140s again back to back. One that on is a good pickup from the start there. With that five, that was a great pickup. The two trouble 19s. But Duff is being relentless. 100. 140, 140, 100 for Duff, taking him down to 121. And Jared Cole, for all his huffing and puffing, Neil, you require 121. he is being left behind here in this leg. For the match, he's going to get one dart at double 18. But it goes inside. He will return for double nine for 13 data to win the match. Cole can only apply as much pressure as possible. 18. He applies Nearly some. Require 18. So double nine for Duff. Double four. Fourteen. And that is now three from 13 on the doubles. Jared, you require 100 and Jared is going to get a go. If he can keep the carpet in order. He's now rearranging the set. Jared, DFS is across the road. Exactly right. 
He needs that treble 18. He's missed it. 68 left. He's Neil sat there waiting to four. go. Should, should Duff make a mess? Double two. Game shot. And the and Duff match. man Neil is Duff. the top man on Monday here at the Super Series. Four wins from five for him and a 98.46 average. He has saved his best till last as he defeats Jericho in a last leg thriller here. We built it up as the game of the day. It most certainly delivered. Four from